hey, we're at the Gigabyte uh, suite, and we're going to go take a look at some of their laptops, some of their video cards, and maybe I'll just do a quick brush by on the motherboards, the Z170s. So let's go ahead and take a look at these uh, laptops. Now, if you're familiar with Gigabyte, they do have two lines. They have, of course, the Gigabyte line, which is their, I guess you could say, even though they do have gaming laptops, they're more of their, the mainstream laptops uh, for gaming. Um, they don't have much as the Aorus would. They're less memory, maybe less storage, et cetera. Uh, they usually do put the same video cards in, but you're going to get where you're actually going to get, you can actually buy a uh, P34 here as we're, as we're looking at, and that actually has a 950M uh, NVIDIA card in it. And then if we go up, when we go up through the stack, you'll notice that the P35 X and W. Now, there, here's a denomination between it. An X would mean the higher end, which is the 980M. The W would be the lower end, which is the 970. So if you buy a P35X, you're getting a 980 mobile. If you're buying a P35W, so you got 980, 970. Again, we have 980 and a 970 here with, with, the, uh, with, with the P37. And then when we come, we'll work our way down. We've got our P15s. So as you can see, I mean, they have multiple array of uh, options for the mainstreamer. Everything from a 950 all the way up to the 980, which is the actual highest one that you could get in a laptop right now. So let's go backwards. And again, if you remember with the Aorus, these laptops, of course, the higher end ones, will be able to generate the Oculus Rift. So you're going to be able to play 3D, uh, not 3D, but VR using these laptops course when they're plugged in. I wouldn't suggest you walk around with the laptop and not have it plugged in. You're going to get 35 minutes worth of gaming time. As we come over, we're going to take a look at a few case mods here. Uh, different people did these for 4 gigabyte. This is actually uh, this is actually an Enermax case right here. And if you're looking inside, that's actually a 980. Um, just a regular WinForce GTX 980. Now, what Gigabyte has done is, they, with their WinForce line, there is actually going to be three different denominations. You're going to have your base or your, I guess you could say your entry-level uh, gaming, which is going to be the regular WinForce with the three fans. And then we're going to go ahead and come up and take a look at this next case mod here. This one actually happens to be the wind force and this one is the extreme gaming which is actually now part of the line the extreme gaming is going to be the top of the line video cards of course you're going to get better heat sinks you're going to get led rings around the fans you're going to get fans that spin in different directions you'll be able to make control more and of course you're going to get a little bit better of an overclock as we come on come down this way we're going to take a look at our second in line, and this is actually the G1 gaming. Now, of course, as I said, you have the extreme gaming, you have the regular wind force, and now we have the G1 gaming, which is basically the middle of the line. Now, prior to the extreme gaming, of course, the G1 gaming was the top of the line at that time. Just come on down to this one here. We'll just see in just a couple couple more case mods here. I know you guys like to look at case mods and so we'll t we'll take a look at those. <laughs> this one looks pretty nice. This one is flashing everything and you can't beat a flashing uh, a flashing computer. The only problem is it's not really turning purple. Well, those lights are. As you can see, remember I was telling you about the rings up on the top. As you can see, it has the rings up on the top and they the rings up on the top on the fans will also blink the same color as the wind force. And all, all, the, all of these do come with a backplate, an anodized backplate that actually wicks away moisture, makes, makes the, uh, the PCB stronger, and also, uh, besides moisture, I think it uh, actually repels dust. 
Let's go ahead and take a walk over to the uh, Gigabyte motherboards. These are the new Z170s. Of course, these are the G1 Gaming Editions. And you're going to have different editions with it. You're going to have the Gaming G1, which is the highest end, which basically does every single thing but feed you breakfast in the morning. And then you have a Gaming 7. Now, as you can see, you might not notice much of a difference at first glance between the G1 and the Gaming 7, but here's your differences. As you can see, we have black SATA ports. On the, on the G1, we have white. Everything is more color-coded. You're gonna get four, you're gonna get four SLIs, and they're all going to be covered with, uh, now everybody's putting aluminum on their PCI slots, so you're gonna get that for extra protection. And as you can see, the heat sinks, compared to the other ones, the heat sinks can be water-cooled. And then of course, when we come on down here, the Gigabyte still does have their regular Z170 line, which would be the U series, the UD5, UD7s, etc. All right, everyone, I want to say thank you. See you the next time. Bye bye.